What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. Oh, we owe. We owe you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to the tavern. Come on, Dandelion. You need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery beneath a veneer of courtesy. He said nothing can hide the stench. That's some good writers for this game. People are quite articulate. Articulate, sorry. Anyway. Now what have we got here in Westwise? Chapter 1. Room once more, blah blah blah. Like a dwarf of my beer and garrets of a blade, blah blah. Okay, so there's quest to get your I think this is my active quest. Ah, oh, here we go. Witcher began to wander from him. Okay, let's go. Fuck. Go to the tavern and chat with your friends. Okay, I'll do that one. I will say, alright. Walk right through the fucking door. <laughs> what the fuck? The tavern's loading. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit of a quirk I have off this game that it takes so long to load everything. I mean, I mean, not, not literally the loading screens, but like the, the textures take a long, long time to load. any brawls. Peace and quiet. Get it? Of course. I've got my eye. I want to trade. No, I don't want to trade. I'm going to shop for 24 hours and find some of the energy pictures are most available. Say something. What did you just find? A pleasure to see you. I believe we met in Bazima. Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Oh, fuck you. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. Blood got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. Well, what's happening? You're very good. Ha! The Bregan rigs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would-be popular law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bob Zoltan, an absolutely grand Dublin, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jaystone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. 
They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pen dog. Old Brecken grows and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrick says, then proceeded to slop two full bowls of the shite. Oh, uh. Lord, hope his mind caves in on his head. <laughs> Rito said you're working with the Scoia'tael, so I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoia'tael don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoia'tael. No, no one can consider themselves bandits. The dragon, well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltis might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> oh, that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is... Even be girl. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivale, I bet. Among others, after the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. <laughs> a civil war was in the air. Oh my god. Where were the mages? Hi. Where were the great eminences of this world when the... They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather... I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and... Did they ultimate? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John and Talus remains our only home. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Labs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a right can... He could find that ruling is to his liking. Now, Talus is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds significant stake. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest killer lay in wait in the tower where the lava had hidden the royal bastards. Well informed. Wait a minute, what were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorv and Scoyatel were waiting in a boat. Planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Oh. And some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and He's a fucking him. witcher. Holy crap. That's interesting. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast!
beast attacks! The fuck? We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Okay, let's get out there. I guess the price is eight million.